Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up a contest with the Clickback Rewards software. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your members area and click the Create New button in the upper right-hand corner of your dashboard. This is going to bring you to the contest creation page. And as you can see, creating a contest is separated into four easy steps. Now, most of these settings are self-explanatory. For example, contest name, contest title is pretty self-explanatory. But if you do need help, we do have these question marks right here. And you can mouse over the question mark, and it'll give you a little tooltip that will explain what each setting is for. So to begin creating your contest, you're going to fill in your contest name, your contest text, any contest graphic, and a graphic is actually a logo. So if you want to brand the contest to a company or a specific logo, you can enter a contest graphic, which will display that as well. If you like to have a YouTube video play, you can enter your YouTube video code right in this section here. And the most important setting on this particular step is your target URL. Now the target URL is going to be the URL that you want people to, who enter your contest to send traffic to. And this could be any URL you want depending on your goals of the contest. So for example, if your goal in running this contest is to get as many signups to the contest as possible, you might want to reward people for spreading the contest itself. However, if your goal is to get people to your website, you might want to reward people for spreading a link to your website. If your goal is to get people to a CPA or an affiliate offer, then of course you would enter the link for your CPA or affiliate offer. And this, as I said, can be any website you want and the software will track when people send traffic to that link via your contest so that you not only get the traffic but they also get credit and a better chance of winning the contest by sending the traffic for you. You can set your contest start time and your contest end time. You can also add a social graphic and the social graphic is the graphic that's going to show when you share on the social networks. Finally, on this section, you select your custom submit button. And this is the submit button that shows underneath the sign up form when people enter your contest. Once you have all of your basic settings in, simply click over here and go to step two, and you can start on your autoresponder integration. Clickback Rewards automatically integrates with Aweber, MailChimp, GetResponse, and SendReach. But if you don't use one of those autoresponders, you don't have to worry. We will save your opt-in list as a CSV so that you can download it and add it to any autoresponder which will accept an import. Step three is going to be your contest rules and terms of service. And you can enter any rules or terms of service that you want into this WYSIWYG editor. You're also going to be able to enter your referral blacklist into this section. And what your referral blacklist is, Let's just say you don't want traffic from a specific source. You can enter that website into this box and any traffic that people send you from that specific source won't count for your contest. So for example, if you don't want traffic from YouTube to count for your contest, you could just type in youtube.com and then any traffic that comes from YouTube from your contestants won't count and won't get them extra chances to win. And you can have as many websites on your blacklist as you like. In the fourth step, you select your background graphic and your contest layout. You also enter your winner instructions. And these are the instructions that the winner will see after they win the contest. When you have all your settings set up, simply click the save and exit button and you will return to your main dashboard. Now I'm going to show you how the contest works with my existing test contest that I'm actually still running right now. So in order to get going with it, I'm going to go ahead and click on the embed button. And I have a couple of options here. I can get a text link which will link people directly to my contest. And this is a mobile responsive link. So if they are on a mobile device, the layout and the position will respond so it still looks proper on their mobile device. I can also get a graphic button that I can embed on my website, which will send people over to my contest. The third option is to share the contest on one of the social networks. And this is the option that I'm going to use to demonstrate to you. 
Now, we integrate with most of the top social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, G+, Dig, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, and Reddit. But my favorite and the most powerful option is the Facebook integration. And let me show you exactly how that works right here. So here I am, I'm about to share my contest on my own timeline. Now I don't have to share it on my timeline. I can share it in a group, I can share it in a fan page, or I can share it on a friend's timeline if I like. But since this is just a demo, I'm going to share it on my own timeline. If I want to, I can also add some custom text that will show in the share. But again, since this is just a demo, I'm just going to leave that blank and go ahead and click on the share button. The Facebook dialog will close and I'm taking back to the software. Okay, so now that we have that, let's head over to my Facebook account and I'll show you how it looks inside of Facebook. So here we are inside of my personal Facebook account and you can see the contest that I just shared right here. It is very obvious in my timeline with the large call to action graphic and the big play button. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. And my YouTube video is going to start playing and it's also going to show my contest description. Now let me show you what happens when the video ends. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here so we don't have to go through the entire video. And we'll just take it close to the very end. And you can see the video goes away and it brings up the contest entry form. So it's going to show people when the contest ends. And this is very important because by adding scarcity, you're much more likely to get people to want to opt in. It's going to ask them for their name and their email address, and then they can go ahead and sign up for your contest. There's also a link here to the rules of the contest that you've entered in order to be compliant with Facebook's terms of service. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter my name here, and I'll put in my email address, and I'll click the sign up button. This is going to take me over to the contestants area where it's going to show the contestant the total number of entries in the contest and the number of entries that they have earned. It's also going to show them their odds of winning. Now this contest has been going on for a little while now and I have been gotten a lot of entries and a lot of people sending traffic to my blog for the through the contest. So you can see there are quite a large number of entries, which means my odds of winning this are particularly low. And the way people are getting these extra entries to win is by following these instructions here. You can see it says, increase your chances of winning. Below are your social share buttons and your link URL. Share on the popular networks and post your custom link URL anywhere you can. Every click you send is another entry for you and another chance to win. So people can go ahead and use these social networks or they could use this URL right here. And by spreading my target URL around, they are actually getting extra chances to win every time somebody clicks on one of their social shares. In this way, people are given a very strong incentive to create social bookmarks for your target URL and to create backlinks for your target URL. And as you can see from the live test that I have run, it does work very well. So far, 428 signups has sent me over 4,600 free clicks. Now, I have them sending clicks to my blog, but I could be sending them to a CPA offer, an affiliate link, anywhere I want. And the important thing to remember is that these clicks are completely free. I'm not doing anything. What's happening is the people who entered my contest are doing the backlinking and social posting for me in order to get more chances to win the contest.